Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Seismic Analysis Code software under any Linux distribution. First of all, you need some information about the software, so I suggest you to go to Google Chrome or anything that is that has Google. Just search it about IrisSec and it will give you a link in the first one, Sack Software Request here. Uh, if you click on it, it will show you a form which has uh, some uh, box uh, you need to fill it. Uh, they will email you the software and uh, what you must uh, just fill it to write uh, forms here. And ask about which kind of uh, platform you're using, other uh, information you need to form and submit the request. If any of this re information is wrong or not enough they will not send you though they will not even notify you about if anything is wrong so you just have to submit and submit request again and they will send you anyway you might have uh, some problem with downloading the this software or just installing the software so i'm going to show you an easy way to install this thing on your system anyway uh, just close it here and open another web page. Just go to github.com. Here in the github.com, GitHub, GitHub is um, some uh, web page, a site you uh, full of open source softwares, codes in about any languages, and you can have information uh, or find any codes you might be in need here. Just for installing SAC, you can search my username without any spaces just i'm going to type my first name and last name and nemo dollat abadi and uh, just by pressing enter it will show you nothing because i'm a user in here not a repository to search if you are any if you have any question just search it about about this uh keywords in google what is a repository what is a commit what is the issue anything i'm a user not a repository so change the filter from repository to users here. It will show you two users, which is the first one. This is me, Nima and uh, there are many repositories that I'm following, and I have one repository created with the name of Earthquake Seismology here. Just press on it. You can see some other stuff here. Just hanging around, you will get the hang of these sites. And uh, this is the branch one, which is the master. I have created many branches about many softwares, many functions here. Uh, you can search about it if you are in need of anything here about geological or geophysical information with the softwares like GMT, the GSAC, uh, some meta functions you might be in need of, or SAC, the seismic analysis for the size, and, and some prerequisite about Ubuntu here. So change the branch from master to sec and uh, you just need to download the thing, the old thing here. In order to download this thing, you can go to the code here and just press the download zip. It will download for you a zip file. I have downloaded it. The thing is here. I can show you in the compress. This one is here. Airspace has energy with the suffix of sec. Just uh, extract it here. I want to install it here. You can install it anywhere like home or just create a directory which have all your softwares here. This directory is abbreviation of uh, software, cent software center. Uh, I have like program file in Windows, you know about it. Uh, I have all the softwares installed here. But I'm just, this is a test. So I'm going to install it in my downloads here in the compress directory. So I'm going to extract the zip file here so you can see i have many things many directories and files here so i'm going to change it to sag with the suffix of test so i'm going to inside it there is a file which says that, which has the name of sag config here just open it nothing special here is the version of the sag the some information about the version uh, about the version of the SAC. This information has been written by me. If you are in need, if you don't have any information, what is the Linux, uh, what is SAC, or other things, just search about it on Google. Uh, 
we are in the 21st century and your biggest and best source will be Google, but you must have some information good in English and know a little about the Linux system. This one is going to work for you on any Ubuntu software, any Ubuntu distributions, any Linux distribution, uh, but it works the best in Ubuntu 20 here with the suffix of focal force. Let's get to work here. The first one saying go to sac uh, the bin directory and change the 18th line of uh, sacinit.sh to your sac home directory. Let's see what this says. Okay, this is my sac home directory. All the directories are here. You can see sac, all the directories are here. Which the bin directory is saying here, sac bin, bin is here. I'm going to open it. So, First of all, I need to change something to my Cyclone directory. So my Cyclone directory is here. Just press Ctrl L on the keyboard and it will just highlight you the directories here. Copy this directory. You can use the keyboard or the right click and select copy. I'm going to copy this one and pressing escape to reset it to default. In the bin directory, I have to find a file named psychonity.sh. So I'm going to scroll around and the file is here, psychonity.sh. And in the 18th line, it says change the directory to my psych home. I have copied here, so I'm going to delete this thing here and paste the directory. So this is my psych home directory. I'm just going to save it and uh, nothing at all. Uh, there's nothing to do for me here. And in the second line, it says that add the following to your bash or C. If you don't know anything about it, about bash or C, search it on Google. And you can see, I'm just going to copy all of them. You can just copy like that. And we have no work here. I'm going to close it. Let's see what is a bash RC. Bash RC is a config file that is going to be read every time the, your Linux is booting. Uh, just pressing in the in the home directory. You can see I'm in the home directory, and by pressing H, Control H, it just showing it's just going to show me the hidden files in Linux system. Hidden files are renamed with the dot in the first. You can see the dot. If I'm going to remove the dot here, uh, it will be unhidden. So bash rc is hidden with the dot in the first. So I'm going to open the bash rc and find, yeah, I have many things here. Okay, this is from the last time. And I'm going to paste that, uh, some uh, scripts there, here. You can see, I'm going to paste that, just some modification uh, for myself. I'm going to remove these tabs, uh, which are useless in, the, in here, and for better look in my system. So I'm just going to change just this one here, site home, uh, to my site home. So uh, I'm going to copy again my site home directory, which was here, control L and copy. I'm just going to paste it in here. And everything is done. You, you have to do nothing at all. Just save it and uh, go to any terminal. You have to source the bash RC. You have to make sure the Linux read your bash rc with the syntax of source.bashrc because the file is hidden and there and inside the name it has a prefix of uh, dot. So I'm going to type it with dot and this syntax that I have right I have wrote here, you can see uh, it is going to read the bash rc. Uh, simply you can restart the system like if you are familiar with Windows, if you install any software in the end of installation, it says restart the system. It's just reading some config file. So here you just uh, you don't need to restart, and just by reading the bash rc with this code source the path source with the spaces, and uh, you can see here is an spaces and the name of the file which is bash rc. No error at all. It's just going to the next line, and simply by typing stack. It is starting the SAC software. So I need to test it, uh, test the software. I have a data here, uh, you know, but just by going into the SAC, I'm going to read it. If this works fine and plot it. Yes, everything works just fine. So I'm going to quit from SAC. 
Uh, just to know, uh, before installing SAC, you need to have some prerequisites installed, like G4Trend, GCC, some libraries. I have gathered all of the libraries in my GitHub uh, repository. So let's just get back to my GitHub. I'm going to uh, github.com here. And you can see the uh i can i can just search myself here and in the users i can find myself here in the earthquake seismology repository i'm going to change the branch from master to ubuntu here go to ubuntu and we have something here geo unix dependency just open this file and you can see a lot of libraries gathered here you need to if you are a geologist or a geophysicist uh or or you're a geoscientist you have, and you're working with linux system you have to all uh you have to install all of these libraries under your linux system so in order to do that just copy these files into another file like here i have this uh because i don't need it so i'm just going to delete the insiders and paste all those libraries here and I'm, I am going to save it, it is saved here and just by mm, a simple for loop I can install all of them you can see it has a lot of libraries here like uh, uh, libg4 to run with the other versions or uh, the libg uh, libmm or many other libraries I have gathered them out at all for installing the SAC software the most uh, important libraries to be installed is this one, Live and Sense with the version of the 5. So um, you can just install this thing or just search it on Google how to install these libraries uh, under Ubuntu. It will give you uh, some, some syntaxes. You can just, uh, ins you can just uh, use the syntax as sudo apt install Live and dash dev or other things or if you want to install all of them at once so your job will be done you can just open a terminal here uh the terminal was in the back so i have the terminal here i'm going to uh, open again and just you just writing a simple for loop you can uh, install all of them just i'm going to type here for uh, a variable called i in cats uh inf do uh sudo apt in